What's going on guys, it's Bear, and uh, today I'm bringing you guys another video, and this is going to be on how to make glares, like a HD glare kind of thing in Photoshop, and the glare is pretty much just like, come on photo, there you go, it's just pretty much like a little glare, like it fades out, and it is, it's nice to enhance photos, so what I'm using right now is the photo from Snowball, from like the school dance that we went to, so that's my girlfriend and I. But uh, sorry if I sound sick right now. I might have bronchitis, according to the like emergent care thing I live across of, and it sucks. And I just got back from the cross practice, pretty much. So I'm kind of like hit twice. So I'll kind of want to get this over with and uh, get it done for you guys. And it's gonna be a really quick tutorial. It's probably gonna take a couple minutes, but uh, it's really gonna help you guys out in the long run for clean 2D banners. And uh, I'm just setting myself up for my next video. I just gotta give myself some time to like kind of plan everything ahead of time. And uh, I might be purchasing a new mic very soon after I purchase my cleats. So yeah, let's get right into the tutorial. So I'm just going to delete that so I can start off fresh. So what I have right now is just a black background. And then I have my one picture, like a blur on it, and it's just fade into the background. And uh, right here, my primary color is going to be white. And my secondary color is going to be white. So my background and foreground, if you guys want to call it that. And we're pretty much just going to make a new layer. And then we're going to click, hold this, and go to gradient tool. And we're just going to click up here, and there should be, like, one right here, and it might be white to black, so you can just click on that. And, uh, make sure these two are white, unless it'll be, like, white to, like, a gray to, like, or nothing to, like, gray to white, or it'll be, like, nothing to, like, black to white. But make sure these two are white, and it'll just change the whole foreground to transparent. So you're just going to click OK with that. And you're pretty much just going to take your tool, and you're going to go from your top right-hand corner to the bottom left-hand corner. And it goes like that. So... Next thing you want to do is just take the fill, and you're going to bring it down to about 30%. And then you're going to take your poly tool, whatever it's called, and you're going to go to like the top, top left-hand corner, kind of, like in the middle, and then just drag like diagonal or like vertical or however you want the glare to be. And then you can just do that, and then delete it. And then you can lower the opacity a little bit. And then if you want to right-click it, go to Blending Options, and then go to drop shadow you guys can add a little drop shadow on it but I don't recommend that just keep it plain so you guys can use that as a glare and you guys can use glares to a really big advantage so let's just say oh god what am I doing I just want to throw in a ruler right here to get the middle going I can take a uh, glare there duplicate it flip it horizontally and then put another glare right there and that just like changes everything and you guys can then start adding more stuff like if I take out my logo and bring it in oh, it's really tiny but I can just bring it in throw it in the middle and then if I go right click the logo go to gray or go to bevels emboss put the depth up, depth up a little bit the size maybe lower the depth and then change the opacity and then you can add a drop shadow and bring out the spread and size and lower the opacity and right there you just got a pretty easy wallpaper all it took was two glares of background and logo and you got what you wanted but uh, I just want to show you guys how to make glares really quick um, that's not the only way another way is let's just say if I hide all this stuff it's a really old simple way that I used to do when I started designing is I would click the pen tool in the bottom left hand corner and just drag to the right just like a curve and then I would just bring it around I just make a oops and I just make a thing go to fill path and foreground's fine make it white and then I just take down the opacity or I can just put it to soft light I think soft light works for this Nope, soft light doesn't work. Kind of works, but it enhances it weird. But yeah, just take it like that. But um, I recommend doing the transparent stuff first because it just really brings out um, highlights and stuff. Especially if you guys are clean 2D, I would recommend using this in some of your banners, such as black ones with like black backgrounds or with colorful stuff. And you guys can obviously change the color of your foreground and background color, so you guys can have like blue glares and other kind of big transparent glares. But um, that's about it for now. It was just a really easy tutorial. Sorry if I'm not as active as I always am. I'm trying to get my videos out now, but uh, lacrosse is every single day and on Saturdays. And that's starting up, like my official starting up is March 9th. 
so I got two weeks to do stuff so if I don't upload as actively as I usually am I'm sorry but um, I want to say thank you for 1.1k and 30k video views it's actually pretty insane that I have 30,000 video views so, so far and 30,000 people have watched my video that's a lot of views to think about it but um I think my next video is going to be talking about partnerships with you guys I know some of my the subscribers always talk to me about partnerships what I should go for what good partnerships and um I got a couple in mind that if you guys want me to talk about in a vanilla video just please let me know but um other than that that's about it if you guys think the partnership idea would be good just please comment and then I'll definitely do that I'd probably do it over like a sped up video though just to keep you guys occupied while I talk over something like I am right now but um other than that really hope you guys enjoy this if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below or add me on Skype. I have two Skypes, business and personal. Business is for buying stuff, personal is just for asking questions. But um, I answer both. So, other than that, that's about it. Uh, any tutorial suggestions, throw them in the submit form below. I check that, actually, like all the time. And it's pretty dope that people put stuff in there. I have like a hundred and something entries. And I'm just like, wow. But um, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoy this really basic and easy tutorial. Sorry if it bored some of you guys. I already know how to do this. Other than that, I really hope you enjoyed for the beginners. But that's about it. So peace out, guys.